Eight miles. Turn right to heading zero four four. Okay, remember I said we were going to use that quarter wave. There it is, sat next to an external GPS. They're both connected to a Raspberry Pi 3B, which is hiding in that fantastic Lego enclosure. There's a USB stick and being powered uh, by um, just by a you know, charging brick. This will allow me to connect a tablet to this Raspberry Pi 3 because they have Wi-Fi built in. That's why I'm using a 3. Can use a 2, but it saves a uh, USB slot uh, for the Wi-Fi. So we have to connect a tablet and then we have to see the aircraft around us and also be able to see if we were in America we'd be able to, and had two sticks in there we'd be able to see the weather as well so that's also fantastic and get real-time NOTAMs all for free so I've come and sat in the shade which is obviously a good thing it's a hot day the the actual tin can and antenna is about what 30 meters away from me something like that because this was the first thing that my tablet saw uh, my networks just behind us it uh, it's connected to it and um, uh, automatically so I didn't need to do anything but once it connects to to the Wi-Fi hotspot created uh, by the Pi you open up a page at 192.168.10.1 as you can see from the top of this and that shows you connected and it gives you the setup options for your machine and from that I can see that we're currently tracking an aircraft a little way away let's turn on the distance and it'll base the distance, so it's 42 miles away. It's basing the distance on the G obviously the aircraft's position and the GPS position derived from that external GPS. So the, the Raspberry Pi knows where it is, we know where the aircraft is, I needn't tell you anymore. So that's showing that the Stratox, the free tracking software, is working on the Raspberry Pi, and we've got a different version of it. And what we can do is we can make it appear on different apps, and this is going to take forever. To open up but I don't think that aircraft is close enough for it to appear on this screen they've got to be a lot lot closer than that it's got to be within 30 miles of me and that other one obviously as we know is 40 miles away so I'm gonna sit here and wait and see if any more come along there's some there should be it's 1222 there should be one coming along at um, one o'clock going into Peter Maritzburg which is just to the south of me FAP and B uh, should come in from the north and depart afterwards and I did see a light aircraft coming in uh, also coming from the north so that one might pop up on our radar so until that I didn't I didn't didn't bring any drinks out but uh, I will wait see if anything pops up and perhaps go and get a beer for the wait I could have sat there all afternoon drinking I was not going to see any aircraft I was using Oz runway as the EFB or electronic flight bag display on my Android tablet the Android version of Oz Runway does not display traffic, which I didn't realize at the time. So to a working solution, the excellent free Avair EFB was going to be my choice anyway, or recommendation for American users. Pulling the data in from the Raspberry Pi is simplicity itself, and you need another small app from Avair to do that, the Avair external I.O. plugin. This makes a Wi-Fi link and feeds the EFB. I didn't realize um, that you could also pull in and or download tactical pilotage charts for my part of the world in South Africa. Um, the caveat to doing that though is that TPCs are made in the 80s and even our international airport down in Durban is not shown. So you have to be very careful if you're not in America. In America it's different because charts are made freely available by the US government so straight away it's a handy way of getting maps into your pocket to check airspace around you. It's also possible to pull an airfield approach chart as a source of radio frequencies to listen out on. Better still, the US has a NOTAM, TFR and weather rebroadcast service. It happens on 978 megs and is known as UAT, Universal Access Transmitters. This is all part of the next gen rollout by the FAA. There are several hundred transmitting stations across the USA and with a second USB stick in the Raspberry Pi, the Stratix software can also push that data to your tablet. As it's designed to be received in the air, you're going to have to be very close to the towers to hear that data. So it's starting to feel like a very expensive panel-mounted experience. You'll have uh, low-flying aircraft or aircraft in your area displayed in your tablet, as well as access to weather and no towns, all for the cost of a Raspberry Pi and two low-cost dongles. So it really does make for a very cheap, independent situational awareness aid. I have one last ADSB experiment in my head and then I'll stop for now, I promise. Let me know in the comments below if you already use this sort of setup or are now considering it.